how to overcome our fears how to move out from our fears how to live in freedom let us discuss this here first of all we need to identify our fears and the source of fear when you identify your fear try to find out whether your fear is because of your wrong belief or your lack of trust in goodness of god now try to find out from where that lie came to your mind it may be from a particular situation circumstances it may be from your family line it may be uh, from some kind of wrong understanding it may be uh, from some kind of doubt towards god's word you need to find out from where that lie has come to your mind if you are unable to understand about the source of fear you can ask god you can pray about it god will help you to understand the fear is related to what kind of lie sometime we can find out a fear but we do not understand the lie connected up with that fear so you can pray about it when you pray god will help you to understand the lie connected up with the fear or the wrong understanding that connected up with the fear or the situation which is connected up with that fear so that you can identify the source of fear fear operates like this first you believe in some kind of lie because of your situation circumstances or wrong belief or wrong understanding or some kind of doubts you start believing in some kind of lie that lie brings fear in you and when you continuously fear that lie it is as if you are worshiping that lie if you continuously fear something that means you worship that fear is another kind of worship so that's why in the scripture we can see god wants us to fear him only because fear is connected up with worship but if you are fearing a lie continuously it is as if you are worshiping that lie and when you are continuously worshiping that lie you are making that lie very strong it becomes a strong hold in your mind and when it become a strong hold in your mind you may not be able to identify it because it is having a strong root inside your understanding it can become a strong hold inside your mind but thank god you can come out of it the holy spirit can help you to understand the fear and the root of fear and the lie which is connected up with the fear you can repent for believing in that lie you can renounce that lie from your mind and you can renew your mind with god's word when you do that you may receive freedom from that lie if you are continuously believing in some lie it may produce a strong hold in your mind you may be living in continuous bondage so when you stop believing that lie you renounce that lie and you replace that lie with god's word you may experience deliverance also in you sometime you need deliverance from unbelief you need deliverance from doubt of god's word you can take the help of another born again person who can minister you who can help you who can pray for you who can counsel you and who can help you to come out of that bondage of wrong belief bondage of lie you might be living in continuous fear in some particular area of your life because you have not given that area completely to the lord you need to repent for that and you need to hand over that area completely you need to surrender that area to the lord god should be the 100% owner of our life when we completely surrender every area of our life to the lord god can help us to come out of all our bondage and all of our stronghold and we can live in complete freedom you should receive love and peace of god in your heart 
Sometimes we understand that God has given us freedom, understand that God has forgiven us, but still we have not received the love of God, the joy of God in our heart because of our wrong understanding. We need to receive love of God, joy of God in our heart so that we can live in freedom from fear, freedom from failure. 1 John chapter 4 verse 18 says, There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. If you are continuously living in fear, then you are not walking right with God. Here it also says that perfect love cast out fear. If you are walking in the love of God, if you are walking in faith, if you are walking in light, if you are walking in the spirit, then the fear of enemy, the fear of Satan cannot affect you. You will not be frightened by the world. You will not be frightened by the situation, circumstances. You will not be frightened by the lies of the enemy. If you are walking right with God, Holy Spirit will continuously help you to understand what is right and what is wrong. Holy Spirit will give you discernment. Holy Spirit will empower you, strengthen you to come out from fear and to live in freedom. Next, you should walk in spirit always. You should walk in the spirit. You should obey the Holy Spirit always. You will live in freedom. You should not allow any fear in your heart and mind. Cast out all fears from you and you live in freedom every day. Isaiah 41.10 God says, Do not fear, I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will afford you with my righteous right hand. God loves you and he wants to set you free from all of your fears so that you can live in freedom and you can obey God and God can fulfill his plan and purposes in your life, in your generation. If you want to know more about fear, if you want to receive counseling, if you want to receive prayer, you can contact us and we would like to pray for you. We would like to counsel you. We would like to help you to come out from your fear. May God bless you with this message. Thank you.